Paralad natin ngayon is about classification of polynomial. Okay, example number one. Ten. What is the highest exponent? Zero. And what is the degree? Of course, zero. And what is the classification of polynomial according to degree? Constant. Okay, so remember, kapag ang given natin class ay walang kasamang variable, automatic na siya ay constant. Again, pag walang kasamang variable, constant. Okay, next, number 2. So, number 2 example, we have 2x plus 7. So, this time class, meron ng kasamang variable. And what is the highest exponent? 1. So, marahil yung iba sa inyo, nagtataka kung saan nanggaling yung 1. So, makikita natin class na yung variable ay walang nakalagay na exponent. So, kapag ang variable ay walang nakalagay na exponent, automatic na meron siyang exponent na 1. And what is the degree? First degree. And what is the classification of polynomial according to degree? So, tinatawag naman natin itong linear. Okay, next example. Number 3. So, meron tayo dito 3 minus 4x plus 7x squared. So, titignan uli natin yung ating highest exponent. So, meron tayo dito 3 minus 4x plus 7x squared. So, ano yung highest exponent natin? Yes, 2. And what is the degree? Of course, second degree. And what is the classification of polynomial according to degree? Kapag ang highest exponent natin is 2, and we have second degree, the classification of polynomial according to degree is quadratic. Again, kapag ang exponent or highest exponent natin ay 2 so ito ay tinatawag nating quadratic okay next number 4 so we have x to the 4th power minus 5 x to the 3rd power minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 so what is the highest, highest exponent okay so Four. So, what is the degree? Fourth. And what is the classification of polynomial according to degree? So, kung ang pinakamataas na exponent or highest exponent natin ay 4, ito ay tinatawag naman nating quartic. Okay, again, meron tayo ditong constant, pagka 0 degree, first degree, linear, second degree, quadratic. So, dun sa nagtatanong pa paano kapag ang highest exponent natin ay third degree, ito naman ay tinatawag natin class na cubic. Okay, next, number 5. 5x to the 5th power plus 3x to the 3rd power minus x. So, mandali naman natin makikita kung ano yung pinakamataas na exponent. Okay. 5. So, this is 5th degree and the classification of polynomial according to degree is quintic. So, again, review natin class. Kapag ang given natin, walang kasamang variable, constant. 
kapag naman ang given natin ay pinakamataas na exponent is 1, siya ay tinatawag nating linear. Kapag naman ang pinakamataas na exponent natin ay 2, ito ay tinatawag nating quadratic. And then, kapag ka naman ang pinakamataas na exponent or highest exponent natin is 3, tinatawag natin yung cubic. Pagka uh, fourth degree, quartic. Pag fifth degree, quintic. Okay, so ganun lang kadali class para malaman natin na kung yung polynomial natin ay constant, linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, or quintic. Titignan lang natin dun sa ating highest exponent. Pero syempre, halimbawa kung ang given mo ay 10 raised to the second power, nakita mo yung 10 mayroong exponent na 2, pakaisipin nyo na yun ay quadratic. Hindi po. Kapag ka yung ating number ay walang kasamang variable, kahit pa ano yung exponent niya, siya ay mananatiling constant. Basta wala po siyang kasamang variable. Okay, so... Sige, hanggang dito na lang class. Sana may natutunan kayo kahit pa paano.